Welcome to Alpha Car Service Center. Today we have this very nice 2008 Mercedes E350 4Matic wagon, and we're going to be installing another one of the Donovan head units. You may remember our in-depth video just a little while ago. We installed one of these systems in a 2007 uh, CLS 63 AMG, and it turned out awesome. And get ready, because this one's gonna turn out awesome as well. This E350 isn't getting uh, as many goodies, it is getting the Donovan 8 uh, head unit, which will you know, add modern uh, tech into this 2008 E350, including things like uh, screen mirroring and CarPlay being for both uh, Android and Apple. And we have this very nice all metal construction with a nice adjustable camera uh, license plate frame that'll add a rear view uh, camera, a reversing camera. So we can see how slim that is, how nice that looks. And of course, the black frame will look really nice on the black car. It'll blend in very nicely. And with the uh, kind of design of the wagon with how the license plate is set in underneath this trim, you, you really won't even notice the camera's there. It'll look very factory and look very uh, aesthetically pleasing. Now looking in the interior, of course, this car is in awesome condition, only 28,000 miles on it. So really an upgrade like this, we wanna do it right. And we can see the uh, original head unit there, very period correct. And this car already has a very nice phone mount with wireless charging. So watch along in this video if you wanna learn a little bit more about this system. And of course, once it's all installed, uh, I will test it out as well with a phone and show you uh, the operation. We did already do that in our last video, so definitely check that out. But uh, for this vehicle, it's getting, like I said, the full Dynavan 8 system with that rear view camera. And this system is, is pretty much all plug and play, and it does uh, communicate with the factory canvas system. So the steering wheel controls and any vehicle functions that are accessed from the original head unit, that will all be retained. It's a very, very nice system and the, for the customers uh, that we've been installing these for, they are loving them, we get great feedback. So like I said, uh, watch along in this video and learn more about the installation and operation. We're making awesome progress on the E350. I just wanna show we have everything removed out of the center console. So the climate control, the shift, uh, trim surround, we have the original head unit removed. And check this out, this is the bezel that the kit comes with. And as we saw in the CLS video, this is really a perfect fit right here. It looks awesome, perfectly houses our new screen and the you know original uh, climate controls. And then we'll do a, a slightly different mounting variation for that, that wireless charger that was already in here. So taking a look back at our screen here, if I carefully pick this up, you can see this sets perfectly into our bezel and it really all looks awesome as if Mercedes put it there from the factory. And on the workbench, we have a few of the original components. We have the original head unit here. We can see how big of a item that is, all the processing power in that big unit there. And then this is the original surround with the uh, climate, con some of the climate control options, or I guess it's more vehicle operation and then some heated seat buttons there. And we can see how this was carefully trimmed and mounted before this wireless charging uh, phone mount. Of course, we're going to have a different solution for that now that this uh, panel will end up being placed in the new bezel, as we saw, you know, with that last video we did. But just check this out. This is the new brain, so to speak. And look at how big this is, or how small it is rather, compared to the original unit. So it's really just a fraction uh, of, the, of the size. So that's just really cool to see how this adds so much more capability, has a nice high definition screen, and just with that modern technology, it really scales things down and it's, you know, takes up less space uh, in the dash. And of course, it's a little lighter as well. Not that that matters too much, just kind of a point I wanted to mention, you can just really see how things have advanced in the recent years. And now we have many things disassembled on the E350. 
We can see some of the carpet and trims have been pulled up because the wiring for the reversing camera. Uh, we're running that. You can see here there's these factory kind of trays underneath the carpet that the factory wiring harnesses run in. And of course, we're running everything in a factory manner to sort of uh, follow those factory harnesses. We can see a few wires behind there, the factory wires. So all running along there. And then we're at the moment where they are uh, coming out in the uh, trunk area. And we can see once again, there's lots of gaskets and things that are being removed because now we're gonna go through the uh, tedious work of, of once again properly running this, but to properly run this through the factory wiring boot, which like I said, can be a very challenging job. But that's next on the list now is uh, starting to remove all of these trims in the hatch. And then of course, wiring this, running this wiring all the way up and through our factory boot there. And now we just got the cable run through the factory boot. I just wanted to show this because we used a kind of thick piece of wire, kind of like a, like you call it a snake to snake the wiring through this flexible boot. So we got that up through there. And then we've got it, of course, entering the hatch for now. And the panel has been removed off the hatch. So now what we're doing is we're in the process of, you can see the fasteners have been removed here, of removing this trim panel here. And then of course, we're gonna run this uh, wiring along the factory harness in a factory manner to meet up with uh, this trim. We'll devise a way to have it come out in a clean way that's not pinched or anything, where you really won't be able to notice it coming down to the license plate frame. Some more progress on the hatch. I just wanted to show you before this starts to go back together, we have the license plate frame on now, and we can see the wire for it is running out from behind the uh, plate light. So this factory kind of housing here, all we did was notch a little spot so then it perfectly seals around the wire and doesn't pinch it. And then once we have the full uh, decorative kind of trim piece over this, you really won't even see this wire with where it kind of goes to the frame. So really awesome job there by our technician. And of course, this wire is going to get run along factory harnesses, but we, he kind of mapped all that out first, made sure we have the length here, and then uh, made sure it was going to work properly going through that factory location. And now it's really just, you know, securing this, tidying it up, wrapping it in the factory uh, wiring loom tape where necessary, and then putting the uh, hatch panels back together. And now check it out, everything's back together. Let's just hop in quickly. And all we're gonna do is hit our ignition on button there. And the screen fires up instantly, super responsive. Uh, I am referring, gonna refer to our previous video in that CLS AMG. I did show kind of all the same things, really the high definition screen and how you know quick and responsive this screen is. And there's so many different uh, settings that are really awesome in this thing, especially like we can set our, our color. There's all different colors we can make these menus. It's all, it's all very, very exciting. And then we have the usual, uh, you know, media set up there for like our Bluetooth audio. Really, this isn't showing you how to use this and showing you all the features because you can make a very long video just showing you all the features on this, but just generally showing you it's very easy to use and it has a ton of capability. Now let's take a look at CarPlay. And now I've borrowed a coworker's phone. We can see here it's not connected via any cables or cords or anything. Wireless CarPlay, super seamless and easy. We don't have to, like I said, plug anything in. It just automatically connects when we open the application. And it's pretty responsive on the screen. Looks very nice on that high definition screen as well. We can go through all our normal, you know, preferred uh, music app or settings, we have the normal kind of split set up here. Of course, we know how CarPlay works and we know how useful it is. And it's really kind of the modern standard now uh, in, in vehicles. And now, of course, we can just hit the home button and go right back to our main uh, panels of apps here. And then if we want to close out what we were just doing, we can open there just like a you know normal kind of Android operating system. And if we tap camera, that automatically uh, pulls up the rear backup camera. We can see it has the nice lines. That plate frame is awesome. We'll take a look at that in one second. And if I go back out of this, and then let's go, just put it on, on media for a sec here, just so we're somewhere, somewhere else. It's on Bluetooth music. 
And then if I put my foot on the brake and shift to reverse, which we'll start it up here just to do this quickly. I'm in reverse and look at that, automatically goes right to reverse and then switches back very fast once I'm in park. So we can see it's just super nice, super easy and the high definition screen and camera are awesome as well. I'll just boot this back up quick here uh, with the power button. Let's take a look at the license plate frame now that it's all connected. We can see all the trims are back in and the camera's adjusted very nicely and then all you do is tighten the set screws and it'll stay right there for you. And it looks awesome with the black color. You would never know, especially from a normal kind of height where you're, you'd be standing with how this is set into the hatch. You literally would not see this camera unless like I'm crouched down right now, my head is, is level with the Mercedes badge. It's really a seamless way to add this to a vehicle uh, like this one. And I can open it and look at that. All the trims are back how they were. No evidence we were in there at all. You would never know it has the aftermarket uh, license plate frame installed. And once again, just checking out the interior of the vehicle. There's no evidence any, any cables were run or anything. It's all back together perfectly in a factory manner. And really our technician just did an awesome job uh, as, as usual. And of course now this panel with our heated seats, heated seats are awesome by the way. Uh, this all fits you know, beautifully inside of the, the new bezel and the cubby works as designed. It doesn't bind or anything. And there's no like weird gaps or anything of that nature. It all just really looks like it could have you know, come that way from the factory. So I wanna thank you for watching this uh, kind of quick and informative video on this Dynavin system. If you're interested in having one of these systems installed in your vehicle, just reach out to us, service at alphacars.com. Give us a call at 978-263-9000. We can check availability, see if they do make a system that is compatible with your vehicle. Cause now we have this awesome, luxurious, E350 wagon with a fully modern infotainment system now. And you might even argue that this system might be better than a lot of uh, systems that just come from the factory in new vehicles with how nice that screen is, the quality and how seamless it all works. So really an awesome upgrade. And of course here at Alpha Car is done in really a, a quality and factory manner and a, you know, non-intrusive manner as well. And you may have noticed that the wireless charger has not been installed yet. Uh, that's because we just need to talk with a customer and see exactly where they want to install it. Um, because now with this new trim panel, it's we could put it back kind of where it was, but we don't want to block the screen now that it has a nice screen to use. So that uh, we will talk with a customer and find out where exactly uh, they would like that installed. But for the purpose of this video, of course, we're focusing on that Dynavin infotainment system. So this has been Ian reporting from our Box Bar Service Center. Please leave a like on this video and subscribe so then you don't miss out on the latest motoring content.